Saya no Uta, a horror visual novel masterpiece. Renowned for being an utterly repulsive and traumatizing piece of work. Watch as a crippled man descends in the madness and see the vile acts he does, all for the sake of his love. A cute anime girl ex horrific eldritch abomination beyond your worst fears. This is a story about committing to the madness and rejecting your own humanity, as Saya no Uta places you into the eyes of this madman. And yet, despite the unspeakable horrors, this visual novel can be seen as a tragic love story. Right off the bat, Saya Uta shows you the absolute terror of the world that Fuminori now lives in, while also blowing out your eardrums. <laughs> with a combobulation of indescribable sounds and voices, followed by the flesh monster staring into your soul, it's impressive how Fuminori hasn't gone clinically insane yet. Dying in that accident would have been a greater mercy for him. After being revived through an experimental brain surgery as a result of a car accident, Fuminori's perception of the world drastically changed him, for he sees nothing but slimy intestines and hideous creatures in this twisted landscape that looks like Satan's inner butthole made with PS2 graphics. And Fuminori claims he's not crazy. Fuminori's point of view shows us a nightmarish reality, one that no one can understand but him. Trapped in his own distorted perspective, even the slightest off reaction from him will send him straight to an insane asylum. The only salvation in his own personal hell is a very beautiful yet very questionable young girl named Saya. At least, that's what we think she is. You see, this is the world seen through Fuminori's eyes, but when we follow the perspective of the people around him, everything looks normal, showing us how very wrong Fuminori actually is. This only adds to the horrifying truth because the next thing you know, the madman is fucking the incomprehensible monstrosity that is Saya and enjoying it. So you might be thinking, who the hell came up with this horrifying terror in the first place? What kind of deranged mind would be able to create this nightmarish work? Oh. That makes sense. Saya no Uta is produced by Nitro Plus, a visual novel company known for making works like Full Metal Demon Muramasa, You, Me, and Her, and Steinsky. In this particular case, the author for Saya no Uta is Gen Urobuchi, a very renowned name in the anime world behind shows like Psychopaths, Fate Zero, and Madoka Magica. A man infamously nicknamed as the Uro Butcher because of the, uh, <laughs> reasons. Now this isn't his first time doing rather grim topics, he shows no hesitation on presenting outright cruelty, but he's also able to deliver a fantastic story while doing so, and in this one, a very thought-provoking psychological horror story about the perspective of one man's descent into madness. There's even a touch of tragic romance in here, despite how horrifyingly immoral it looks. Sayana Uta does not waste your time. Being only roughly six hours, the writing is concise and clear, describing unsettling events and raw emotions. The visual and audio direction complements this too. The horror filters convey a sense of dread, and the POV shots illustrate the fear of the target, like a hunter stalking their prey, all while the soundtrack plays these hauntingly ominous, yet beautiful tracks to ease you into its atmosphere. Song of Sai symbolizes the alluring beauty of its titular character in the vocals. Sin is a precursor theme to a ritual of unspeakable acts of terror, but sounds beautiful in its melody. And schizophrenia is exactly what it sounds like, mind-numbingly ear grating It's an excellent representation as it shows you the atrocious acts of evil Fuminori and Sai commit and the fear from their victims. And yet, despite all of this, Saya Uta attempts to make you care for them. In fact, you could argue that Fuminori and Saya aren't the villains in this story. Everyone else besides them are the real monsters. In the eyes of Fuminori, this world can burn if it means he can spend more time with his Eldritch GF. There's something admirable about indulging in one's selfish whims and fucking over everyone else in the process. To Fuminori, everyone else looks like disgusting monsters. He can't even stand to look at them. They don't live in his world. Sai is the same way, and as she finds out terribly, worst part of the visual novel by the way, Fuminori is the only guy who can treat her right. It makes sense for the both of them. We can see their fears of isolation. They only we have each other in their world. We even get to see some cute couple moments, doing meal prep together, painting the house together, and of course, engaging in wholesome premarital sex. Now, important side note, if you don't want to see the H scenes, considering the 
you know, I would highly recommend buying the Steam version of Sayana Uta, as those scenes are heavily minimized. That said, what they do contain is the full uncensored scarring depravity, and it's flamboyantly poetic prose. <clears throat> Who could ever imagine that her seemingly incorruptible body would ever glisten with the hot passion of sweat or feast on pleasure with such bottomless lust? And this was only the first H scene, and there's no going back. You go all the way, because if you don't, well the game ends three hours early and you just send Fuminori to an even greater hell. We and the other characters know for a fact that Saya and Fuminori's actions are morally wrong, but Fuminori believes that what he's doing is perfectly fine, and as we follow his perspective, it isn't hard to sympathize with him and his situation. He's lost practically everything. It's no wonder that he would gravitate towards the only thing keeping him sane in his world. But when we switch back to Koji, the poor sap who's been watching the terrible stuff happening all around him, we can see that each action Fuminori takes in favor of Saya is a step forward in rejecting his own humanity. Ironically enough, this feels like the same situation as a best friend trying to convince his idiot friend to stop hanging out with that toxic girlfriend, but instead, it's a cosmic horde and is just a little bit possessive. In other words, practically the same thing. How you view Saya Uta really just depends on how much you can empathize with Fuminori. It's totally okay to disagree with his actions, that's what the other side thinks, and so when you arrive at the final climax of the story in the clash between the different worlds, it's interesting to watch to see who comes out on top at the very end. Sayana Uta is a great package of a well-told Lovecraftian psychological horror story. You can really dive into the many details, messages, and themes of Sayana Uta. Hell, a lot of people have already done it already. Even without the hardcore analysis, it's still an enjoyable short story. Horrifyingly repulsive with problematic content, but intriguing all throughout its three main endings. Sayana Uta gets a 5 out of 5 with a seal of recommendation from me. And so I pose a question to you. What was your experience with Sayana Uta? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in more visual novels, check out my other videos here and here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later on the next one.